Hey guys, welcome to part six. We're gonna see what's hiding in here. Oh, crikey, we got a live one. Look at this. Peter Thomas Roth, perfect. Okay, that I'm still using. Those I use body wash, okay. So it looks like this is the only thing in the shower. Perfect. And then I was looking in here again and I was trying to decide, okay, do I really need to keep all the skincare? This is like almost gone, you know what? I might just try to use that one last time tonight and then just throw that out because it's almost gone anyway. This, I really don't know what to do with, but you know what? I'm going to pull that out. 100% uh, pure. I do like that, but let's set that down here for now. Uh, down here, the Ole Henriksen I have a really hard time getting rid of because it's expensive and I did like it, but I'm just, you know, I'm just not going to use it. I'm not going to use it, so got to let go. Oh, this one's like almost empty. I don't know why I didn't catch that yesterday. Okay, this one is new. That one that one still has a seal on it and everything, so. Uh, the Thai Crystal deodorant. Oh, someone asked me about this in a comment, um, if I liked it, if I would do a review on it. And you know what? Uh, it does work, but I find that it's kind of annoying because it sprays out a lot um, in each pump. And so it like ends up dripping down your arm and gets onto your shirt and stuff. And then I'm like, oh, then I gotta like change my shirt because it looks like you've been sweating. It's just like so annoying. So I think I'm actually gonna pass that on. That's oh, frustrating, I know, because it's almost full, but if I'm not gonna use it, it's just gonna go to waste. Okay, that's almost gone too. See, there we go. There's another, oh, there's two compartments. There we go, so I've got Boja as my backup. That's really all I need as a backup. I don't have to have backup skincare for backup skincare. And just in case you were wondering what's in the middle compartment here, nothing. And this one, I just have um, my two hair oils, coconut and argan oil, um, toothpaste, Listerine, and up here are all of my hair products right there. That's it. I use my Desert Essence, um, this uh, Alterna Summer Ocean Waves, and then this is actually sitting here as a backup in case something doesn't work out here with my Desert Essence. So I was going silicone free, that's why I saved those because I wasn't sure if that idea was going to work for my hair. Turns out it's been working just beautifully, so anyways. So I, I don't know if I should let go of this now or keep it a little longer in case I need it in the future. I'll hold on to it a little bit longer. Let's just see what's in here. Okay. Those can go. These are just cotton pads. They're like extra large cotton pads, which you would think, oh yeah, cotton pads, no problem using those up. Well, I hate these with a passion because they're almost like cotton balls, which annoy the heck out of me because they're like all like fuzzy and they have all these really soft fibers and it like pulls out and pulls apart really easy. Oh, so uh, these are the ones that I like. So these are the ones that I buy from Costco. And those have a nice, nice little texture on one side. Anyways, yeah. So I like, I like this brand. Those are the ones I'm keeping. Those are the ones I'll um, take to the shelter because I know for a fact they could definitely use those. Once upon a time, I thought these ostrich feathers were cute, and they are cute, but mm, I'm just kind of over it. So they like sit up there like little knickknacks, just annoying the hell out of me. So let's go. These are coming down, and something else cleaner and more simpler will sit up there and look pretty. All right, so there we have the top shelf for now. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave the cupcakes alone too, but there is something else that I know that I'm over, and that is this mess here. And at first I thought this hurricane, you know, glass was like kind of cool, it was kind of fun, you know, at our old house here, uh, not so much. So that is going to go. I ended up switching the top again by Michael's recommendation. <laughs> uh, he's talking to me about these cupcakes, yeah. Cupcake collection. <laughs> Eiffel Tower cupcake. I'm going to let him take them Which away. Which one? Do these, all these, yeah? Well, that's a candle. Do you want to burn it? I'll burn it, yeah. Okay. I get to keep one. <laughs> Nothing in that one. No. Nothing in no, that see, one. No, see, yeah, those are little coin banks. Yeah, no money ever made it into there because I spent <laughs> it on cupcakes. <laughs> okay, and that's it. And oh, I'll come back for that. Okay. All right, bye cupcakes. I just took this lid off of this cupcake, and I didn't even realize that this stuff was still in here. Okay, I've got pink sugar. I do like pink sugar. I like Givenchy Hot Couture. Gucci, no. He's back. Are you going to take... What is this? It's a coin bank. Oh, no, this. The... Uh, it's, well, you're right. There's more perfume samples in there. Those were supposed to be like my special ones that I actually liked. Oh. So of all those perfumes, the samples, Michael took them all. That's it. <laughs> so I think that, that should be the last of the samples that I have hiding around here. Can I show samples. them why? 
Yeah, yeah, Cause... they've seen in here. Okay. Yeah, well, sure. yeah, I was telling Christine if she used a bottle or a spray a day, two times a day, she wouldn't go through one of those. Yeah, perfume lasts a long time. I've been working on that one forever, for years now. Years. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, and there's the top shelf now. All the cupcakes gone except one. Oh, and of course I have the big one down there. This is when you, you put the you crystals. and you put those on. I right did. There. I worked on that thing. Now I'm just selling it. Where did you get the original? Take it to Pure one, huh? Yeah, it was white, shabby chic. But um, I've, I've got a ton of candle holders now. And candles. Mm -hmm. Well, you've been burning them. This bag here, I don't know if you guys remember when I bought that. I was all excited when I got it because, of course, it's a cupcake. But now I'm, you know, I'm letting go of the collections. The cupcake collection is no more. So um, I'm letting go of that. And I, I stuffed all of that Love & Toast um, perfume and, you know, samples and stuff in there from yesterday. I tried to go donate this morning and they were closed. So um, I guess I thought they were open on Mondays, apparently not. So they're open on Tuesdays, so tomorrow morning all the stuff will be going, which works out perfect because I was able to find more stuff to take tomorrow. Now that that's all clean, I'm much, much happier with that. Because before it's like too much clutter and stuff just makes me just sick. It just like wears on me. It just like weighs me down, stresses me out. Like this, look at that. Yeah, oh boy, that's quite a stress case there. So I need to clean this. This is going to be... It's getting late already. I didn't have a lot of time to film today. I had to work, but I'm going to go ahead and clear out this stuff here and like reorganize my jewelry tree. So we'll take care of that probably tomorrow. I haven't even used my Clarisonic for, oh, I don't know. Well, since I started my natural, like my pure oil skincare treatment, because I just wanted to see how that worked all by itself without any help. And I haven't even like wanted to go back to this. So that's, that's like crazy. Um, but I'm not, I'm not getting rid of that because I want to keep it, you know, because I, I may start using it again sometime. And I was just looking in here because I know I have some PMD skincare stuff that's like almost brand new. So there's like a cleanser and a moisturizer. I think that's it. Yep. Okay. I was just looking at this and I was like, wait, what is that? What is this? What is that brush doing in there? I... I don't use that. How did that get in there? There's still some things hiding in here. Like those? No. Like that? What What on earth? Oh, Wet n Wild? I didn't even know how I have that. Hard candy, little concealer. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. So that's even better. Let me go ahead and take those. Those can go in the trash. This little brush. I'll Save that for them and the little concealer. Otherwise, this stuff, well, that's garbage. So I realized that when I was organizing my lipsticks into this new divider and the lip liners, I didn't actually go through them. So we need to do that immediately. So I cannot have stuff hiding in here that I haven't used. Um, so, or you know, that I haven't used in a long time. So high beam tan, perfect. That's, that's one that I don't really wear. Um, let's see. Oh, this caramel one. Yeah, that can go. They just have a little too much brown in them for me. Let's see, there's another one. Blushed. And, hmm, that may be it from the Rebel ones. Okay, so let's see, we have the CoverGirl Rapture. Uh, it's such a pretty color, but it just comes off a little strange on me, so I'm gonna give that one up. And let's see, Verve, I really like Verve. Sweetheart Kiss. I kind of like those three because they're frosty. They're like, you know, some of my few frosty lipsticks. So I'm going to keep those. Oh, um, you know what these wet and wild ones? Let's see. We got Think Pink and Bear It All. Hmm. I'm thinking I haven't worn those enough to justify keeping them. And then we have the MAC. I have a, I don't really get rid of MAC. Usually I, I try to use them up and then just back to MAC the container. So... I think that might be all for the lipsticks that I can get rid of at the moment. And then in here, oh geez, lip liners. Um, because you know, if the girls are going to have lipsticks, they got to have some lip liners to play with too. So I'm sure that I can spare some. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. Let's sort them by brand first. 
And here we have the lip liners. So I, I grabbed those down just from over there just to, uh, you know, just for the sake of it. So I have all my lip liners here. But these actually wear quite often. So I have, you know, my Victoria's Secret ones, which I love, Too Faced, and one Chanel um, beige that I really like. So I'm just going to set those over there and get back to these. So this is, let's see, this is a Lancome in Natural Mauve. I do like that one. These three, well actually these two, I love. This one is one of those ones that's like, it's like an odd color that I don't really wear that often. It's 18C and it's like a coral, like a bright kind of coral. But if I have a coral lipstick, I have nothing to wear with it. So, you know, I do have a couple of them, so I better keep that one just for the sake of those. I have Urban Decay Wicked, which is a pr really pretty pink one, and then Naked, and I wear those a lot too. Um, CoverGirl, Splendid and Seduce, these are the lip perfection ones, I like those, I wear those. This is my one and only Annabelle um, metallic lip liner, which I like because I, I don't have any kind of other like metallic lip liner, so that's like my only one. I have, um, let's see, two from Jordana and one from Milani. So I've got Rock and Rose from Jordana and Latte. I love both of those. And same with this, let's see, this is Most Natural from Milani. That one's really similar to Rock and Rose. So those I'm going to keep. Okay, this isn't going too well. I'm trying to keep everything. Okay, perfect. Here we go. Revlon, there's something about their lip liners. They, they feel a little drier on me or something. Um, or it could just be these ones. I don't know, but... I, I don't really care for these, so I'm going to set those over there and get rid of all three of those. MAC. Um, let's see. This is etc. Dervish Current, which is a really wicked, um, like really deep, vampy one. That's like my only vampy lip liner, so I guess i got to keep that because Mike will pick that out. Uh, this is Strip Down. Oh, one of my all-time favorites. And Whirl, which I love. Um, so I think I will keep those and I'm gonna go ahead and let go of Dervish because I never wear it. It's just, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna set that there for now. In fact, you know what, I think I have a friend that, that wears lots of um, Dervish lip liners, so I might send that to her. Okay, Rimmel. Let's see, I've got one red lip liner. This is my only red lip liner, so I better keep that because I do have um, a couple of red lipsticks that I may wear during this I don't know, this holiday season or something. All right, here we go. Just for the sake of information, I wanted to show this to you guys and, and talk to you about it. So the nude one here is called Innocent, and this one is the East End Snob. Now, both by Rimmel, but they changed, they changed um, like the, I don't know, the shape. See the end is different. It's like curved now, and or, you know, slanted. And then that one is just normal. I prefer the normal one because this one, they like changed the scent of too. So now it's like, I don't know, it smells like all plasticky to me, and I can't stand to wear it. So that's really a bummer that they change it. I don't know if they change it on all of them or just like these new release ones. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let go of Innocent and keep um, Easton Snob. Next we have NYX, and I can tell you right now, I love all three of these NYX lip liners, and I do wear them quite often. This is Natural, Sand Beige, and Nude. Those are both like three awesome nude colors. Um, all different though, not not the same type of nudes. Um, then I have these older uh, NYX lip liners. I've had these for a long time, but I use them every once in a while, so they do come in handy. So I don't really want to get rid of them because I don't have any other colors that are similar to these. So this is Dolly Pink and Fuchsia. So those are the ones I'm going to be keeping. Um, I know I'm not getting ready, rid of too many there, but well, that's that's a start. Who knows? I may go through these once again if I decide there's something in here I'm not wearing. Uh, now these are the NYX Jumbo Lip Pencils. I'm going to get rid of this one. This is Honey Nectar. And this one I love. This is Pecan. It reminds me a lot of Too Faced um, Centerfold. So I'm going to keep that. One of my favorite lipsticks. And this is Pink Nude. Um, you know what? I'm going to have to try that on because I can't remember what that one's like. And then this is, um, this is Centerfold by Hard Candy. And that's just a nude, so I'll keep that one. Alright, I decided I'm getting rid of um, the pink nude NYX Jumbo lip liner because it's just it's a little too frosty for me. And I just realized that there is another Victoria's Secret one that I can get rid of here. Lipstick. This is Dusk. Turned out to be a little too um, brown for me, but it's a gorgeous nude for if you have a darker skin tone. It, I, I was just too pale for it. Um, 
I think that is everything for now. I know it still looks like I have like overkill here, right? But we'll narrow it down. I go through my MAC lipsticks, so I do use those up, so that's good. And uh, yeah, I think we're good on these for now. If I decide that I need to go through these again, I will. And you guys will know about it, of course. Oh, I do want to mention, hey, do you guys remember Gloss Out 2010 when a lot of the gurus were doing that, you know, like limiting their lip gloss for the year. They were only going to purchase like, I think like five lip glosses for the entire year. So um, I have a new one and only we are going to know about this and it's going to be Make Out 2013. Oh yes, I know what you're thinking now, you dirty bird you. Now, Make Out it just kind of, you know, came to me because I thought, oh well, Make Up Out 2013 is just way too long, so I'm just shortening it to Make Out 2013. So that's the new one for this this upcoming year. Now tomorrow's video, I think I'm probably going to be going out into other parts of the house. So we'll see what I can find there. So I will see you in tomorrow's uh, part. I guess we're working on part 7. Oh jeez. <laughs>